first part of protecting your peace is protecting your energy. And I think oftentimes, at least I can speak for myself, we think we have this infinite amount of energy, like all the time, like we're always going to be energized. But I think about our soul as a battery, you know, and we don't have an infinite amount of energy every single day. We have a certain amount. And at times in my life, I was realizing I was giving my energy to things that didn't reciprocate. I was giving my energy to things that didn't energize my life or multiply my energy. Literally, I was giving my energy to things that drained it. And so I had to realize, man, I had to start setting some boundaries, which is a principle in that section. I have to set some boundaries in my life. And the thing about boundaries that I've been talking about so often is boundaries get a bad rap because people think boundaries are walls to keep things out. Mm -hmm. And it can be that if need be, but I like to look at boundaries as bridges to let the right things in. So I started asking myself this question, like, okay, if I want more energy, what boundaries do I need to set? Mm -hmm. So some internal boundaries were the relationship with my cell phone in the morning, which everybody talks about. It was the relationship with even the outside world externally, like who don't I need to be around? Like who don't I need to answer except calls from? Like who's actually reciprocating the energy back to me? So I had to make these decisions and set boundaries to lead me to where I wanted to go.